achieved. What up, YouTubers? It's, your, it's the con man. I'm chilling with the Superman of YouTube himself, Mr. iPod, Kane Carter. What up, homie? Yeah, what up? Man, be like, man, I'm chilling, <laughs> man. I finally get a chance to chat with you, man. You know, we've been, I've been talking about it for a minute, and now that I have the free time, I, I wanted to hit you up, man, and just, you know, chop it up. Yeah, it's definitely been a, a long time in the making, man. Um, I've been I've been on Machinima Sports for what about a year and some change now. Yeah, man, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> growing steadily now. You know, I'm here talking to the big guy, the head of the, the, head of the uh, line. <laughs> man, you know. But what's going on, constant man? Not not too much, man. And I, you know, I want to start off by saying I, I appreciate your work, man. Your videos are awesome. Your knowledge of the game is thorough. You know what I mean? But they're always entertaining. Thank you, sir. You know what I'm saying? I always get a kick out of it when I check them out. So, you know, good yeah, on you man, on that. I, <laughs> I definitely try to uh, inspire the kids mostly, you know, telling them, hey, it's fun just to make videos and being yourself. You know, you don't have to sugarcoat anything, you know, bring it straight raw. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I, I agree with that. Uh, I, I try to tell guys, too, I'm like, listen, you know, you, you look at people who are what, what you deem successful and, and you look and you look and see because they're, they're doing something. And then you find out, figure out what they're doing. And then you got to do that, but you got to do your version of that. You got to get in your own lane with that. You know what I mean? Exactly. And a lot of people misunderstand that. They'll be like, oh, you want me to be like iPod King Carter? Or you want me to be like somebody? I'm like, no, there's only, there's only one King Carter. But you see how consistent he is? You see how thorough he is? You need to do that, but you need yeah. to do you doing that. You know? Yeah, all you got to do is critique a few things. You know, you don't have to take a person's style. You can definitely critique the drive and, you know, the type of energy that a person brings to their videos and make it your own way. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, when I started videos, I started out on the cell phone, <laughs> of course. You know, we all started somewhere. Um, and I was just screaming, going crazy on <laughs> videos, putting up a million points and making the computer look like a total... I don't know, like a computer, <laughs> right? Because I was I was going to town on them, so I, I I did that. Then you know I gradually moved up in quality, and people started liking it, and I just you know took off. I still I still can't believe I am where I am today. Yeah, seriously. And, and it, but you know it's a <laughs> testament to the work that you put in. You know, so uh, I want to get on my soapbox as I always do, but you know I always tell cats when I'm on the subject, you got to put in the work. You know, uh, I was talking to Spade, you know, and you and I both, we were music fans, you know, right, right. and uh, and I was telling them, you know, when I when I was making beats and stuff and messing with the labels and everything like that, like, yo, um, I, I would have been doing that shit just because, because I like playing with the MPC. I like sequencing stuff. I like I like walking in there with a sample and some drums and some something else and coming out with something that wasn't there before. You know? Yeah, I, I feel that. It wasn't about yeah. the money. It's about the feeling of music. Yeah, yeah. It was just about the feeling of creating and, and doing something that, like, my boys wasn't doing because they were just too busy just doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, besides chasing, chasing chicks, of course. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, true that. They were doing that. But I say nothing because they wasn't winning. They was, <laughs> they was chasing, but they wasn't catching. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm trying to reel them in. <laughs> Dude, I, I got a big net, dog. I ain't even I ain't even trying to hook them. I'm trying to swoop them. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> taking, them, taking them by wholesale? Yeah, I, yeah, that's right. I, 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 I chop them low, man. I, I don't take their legs off from under or anything to slow them down. Man, you know what, though? To tell you the truth, when it comes to the music game, though, I wish it was, it was more like the old days, man. Like truthfully, I I really can't get with all this new this new and improved rappers to tell you the truth. Like the rap game, I just don't even listen to rap anymore. I'm still listening to R and B. I might I, I think I'll listen to pop over rap right now. Wow. Like, yeah, man, it's 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 a sad day for me. Um, I think on my I got an iPhone, so um the reason why people call me iPod King Carter is because I got a ton of music and a ton of movies in my library. Right. So what I'll do is I'll give a rapper an entire day on my phone and just put them on shuffle. And while I'm at work for 16 hours, I'll just listen to that one rapper. But it's only certain rappers I can do that for. Like, I can't stomach all of these new guys for more than two, three songs. 
sure. <laughs> I might I might lose my my mind, man, for real. <laughs> like, of course, you know, Hove. You can listen to Hove all day, Big Pop, Nas. You can listen to them guys, KRS. Yeah. You know, Rakim. They all day, Big Daddy. Yep. But see, when it comes to these newer guys, like, all right, take Drake for instance. Right. I can listen to Drake for a little bit, you know, and, and get in my get in my mellow thing, tricking on the chicks, you know, stuff like that. But other than that, you know, he don't got that much gutter rap to him. You know, he don't got that. He he can flow. Don't get me wrong, but you know, when it come to that straight rhyming and and make you you know think about the bars that he land, it's not like that. No. And and most of these new down south dudes, oh man, they just they just one hit wonders to me. Uh, I, like I, <laughs> I want to see <coughs> these guys after one year for real. I, I feel you, man. And um, you know, w w without dating myself, but the OG ain't for jokes. Constant is an old dude in the sense like when I came up on hip hop, like my uncles and stuff, they put me up on that 90s stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, man, B, I mean, N.W.A. Ooh. Um, man, Eric B and Rakim, like you said, uh, KRS One for sure. You know, <clears throat> all the way up to Outkast, all these guys, man, Far Side, Souls of Mischief. I was listening to everything. Like, I grew up in a small town in Illinois called Champaign. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Shout out to my man T. Martin if you're checking. Um, <laughs> that's my dude. Um, I, and, and so we couldn't get much of nothing, man. But we was lucky in the sense that the University of Illinois was there. Mm -hmm. And so we would get a lot of students come through and like they put you up on game for real. You know, I wasn't one of them townies that hated the kids on campus. I was like, yo, man, I done ran through a lot of these chicks in my town. So you're going to supply me with like four, five thousand new ones each year. I'll be there. You know, definitely. <laughs> so I, I would go up there and, you know, you end up hanging with some of the dudes, man. And they would come down from Chicago or whatever, man. And they would put me up on some rap stuff. But, uh, you know, it wasn't until I. Um, really got on that uh that east coast journey that's what jumped it all off you know what i mean oh, yeah. and I was no just... doubt the east coast they 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 bred mcs yeah man. like straight up like you can't you can't call the east coast not an mc uh tri-state like especially a tri-state area like philly new york new mm -hmm. jersey like straight mm -hmm. up just MCs, like people that can say some mind provoking stuff, and you'd be like, you know what, I might have to Google that real quick. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just to just to catch the lyric and actually figure out what's going on. Like at work, at the airport, oh man, everybody always on their iPhone looking at the lyric websites and you know trying to catch people lyrics to see if it was hot or not. Yep. And you know, with the new people in the game, they the beats bang. Don't get me wrong, the new, the new genre, man. These beats go crazy in the whip. Mm -hmm. You ride down the street, everybody breaking their neck to see you. But when it comes to the to the vocals, you just like ah, I could stomach it for a block and a half. <laughs> right, right, right. Then you wishing it was the instrumental. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I got this saying, man. I mean, for hip hop, uh, hip hop is easy to make in a sense if you stick to the fundamentals like lyrics like you said man lyrics used to mean a lot like krs one of these guys wasn't jumping on tracks just talking some gobbledygook like mm -hmm. they was they was really kicking it but you know on the same hand i feel dudes that be like man i don't want to learn every time i'm listening to music if i listen to krs one i gotta learn i gotta learn i gotta learn that's what big daddy came was for he gave it to you smooth ll gave it to you smooth mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying stuff like that but like so when you when you if, if somebody's out there and they crafting some hip hop man stick stick to the elements man make your lyrics tight Li even if you're not a lyrical dude mm -hmm. at least at least flex once or twice I'm not asking you to be common on every song yeah, I know just show them that you got another side to you just so that you got it I mean case in point is a dude like Kanye like this dude is a fashion icon pop culture dude or whatever but he got lyrics when he wants to let them go. Yeah, definitely. He just, definitely. I he, like Kanye albums. Dude, my, you know, and shouts out to Kanye, man. That's my dude, man. Shy Town all the way. I love his camp, man. My boy AK is over there. They're, they're just good music and some good dudes, man. But Yeah, I had um, recently, you know, going back to the YouTube world, um, my boy Dred Silverkid had came out with a video uh, asking all of his subs, who would you compare, you know, some of the big YouTube commentators to? And uh, a lot of people was telling me that they compared me to Kanye. They mm -hmm. say, I'm like the most hated, but I'm one of the best. And I was kind of, and I was thinking, and I'm like, 
I'm like, all right, I'm most hated, <laughs> but I'm kind of the best. It was kind, it was kind of tricky, but it was a lot of people being compared. Like you had people like Shakedown, you had Smooth, Azor, you got Wiser, you got uh, Dread Silver, you got Greco. It's a, it's a lot of 2K commentators out there that a lot of people don't know about. And with me personally, I'm trying to bring the whole community together. Like, um, like take, I right, take the music game for instance, like. Some people would say um, QJB is like two chains. Like he growing at a crazy rapid rate. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He on everything with everybody getting the pump and getting the crowd jumping. Yep. And and I see that, you know, I, and I sit back and I realize I'm like, yo, like young dudes came a long way. You feel me? That like mm -hmm. it's a lot of people in the game that been doing what a lot of us been doing, working together, sticking together, you know, making little clicks, groups here and there. And I'm like, yo, everybody's growing together. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and I, and I like to see that in this whole, even the YouTube community itself, not just the 2K community, because um, like you know, with the FPS, you know, they got they guys, they top notch guys. Then you got everybody else straggling for you know a little bit of love. But yeah. when it comes to the sports world, yo, everybody is tight, yo. Like everybody, it's like they just bump fist every day, man. I I, I go on Twitter, I see people yeah. interacting, you know, back and forth, you know, hitting you up, hitting me up, subs going back and forth with other subs. I'm like. Yo, this is what it's all about. Like, I'm me myself. I'm a feedback junkie. Like, if anybody asks me, man, yo, what you do YouTube for? I tell them, yo, I like to get back in the comment section, hit people up. We go mm -hmm. back and forth about a game, and that's that. Like me and Wiser, oh boy, like that's that was our that was our mental like outlook on the whole YouTube game. Like, yo, how many comments you got? Oh, I got about thirty. Yo, comment back to all them joints. Yo. Yeah, <laughs> just cause, just to get you know the the wake people up, and that's I think that's what people got to do with Machine Machinima Sports. Like if if all of these people that's putting out videos come back to the video, like uh, you know what? One thing is that I don't like about YouTube itself that they turn people into a spammer after about seven comments. Yeah, like I I just think that they should give a person unlimited comments unless it's the same exact comment over and over. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you gave us that, we wouldn't be mad like, oh man, I just dropped 20 comments and, and the caption and hit me like four or five times, you feel me? So yeah. I just think, you know, Machinima Sports would definitely be, be bigger than it is if YouTube took that away. If YouTube was like, fine, go ahead, comment back and forth with people as much as you want, I don't think it would be a problem with, you know, people coming over, you know, disliking videos because they don't understand what happened in the video and you're trying to explain it to them, but you get hit with the caption and you're like, oh man, you know what, forget it. So mm -hmm. that's why some people don't even come back to their own videos. Like, like yo, you're putting out a new product to a new fan base and you can't even get the chance to, you know like let go what you're trying to explain and it, and, it, and it's sad you know that's why you know with community channels and stuff like that it's hard to get across it it, uh, it's, it totally it's, is man i mean you you bring up a, a very valid point and i'm i'm on somewhat of the same mission but it's an overall sports thing because mm -hmm. being here at machinima sports it's like oh, how do i explain it it's it's a sports by nature is competitive so a lot of people just kind of, it just automatically don't want to dig other people or don't want to dig stuff like that. But mm -hmm. what they don't understand is that's killing the sports gaming community as exactly. a whole. Because first of all, you know, you're, you're dealing with people who, you know, for them, like a lot of dudes that I play Madden with, they can roll a blunt bi blindfolded, <laughs> but, but they can't cap a game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't come from that era. They come from... Put your money up. Let's play this game, and let's. Do, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. a, association and stuff. They weren't. They now they may play it, you know, or whatever. But they they're not out talking about it. The difference between us out here that are that are involved with the YouTube community is like yourself. Like you'll be on some my player stuff, you know, which is totally you know against the computer. You doing your thing and whatnot, but it's relevant. Do you know right. what I'm saying? It's relevant because you've made it relevant through the commentary and things like that. A lot of these people aren't up on, I don't want to say technology, but they're just not up on what we're doing. Right. But it, 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 and that's bad. And the other part that's bad about it is the people that are up on it, they're like expecting Machinima Sports to move a mountain for them. Like, I don't care what you do, whether you selling Bibles, you rapping, you you got clothes. You got whatever you whatever you doing. Like yeah, it, Metro born hustler. <laughs> yeah, if it's if if it's your thing, 
and you're putting it out, I'll be damned if you want to sit back and just think the other dude is going to promote it the way it needs to be promoted. These dudes got to get out here and turn into Don King. Because, mm -hmm. yo, this money wasn't here four years ago. Definitely wasn't. Nobody was complaining. Nah. Back then. <laughs> nah. They was, it was like hip hop. They was doing it for the love of it here and there. You know, those sprinkle some money into this game. All of a sudden, dudes is ice grilling me. Yo, constant, man. I ain't getting no views. I, why am I posting there? I just post on my channel. I get this. I get that. It's because you don't got love for the sports channel. Else you would be sending your people over there to do stuff and you would be over there doing stuff and blowing your channel up because people mm -hmm. don't feel your energy. So, you know, those, those are two problems right there. And the other problem that we run into a lot on the sports channel is you got Madden guys, you got FIFA guys, you got NBA guys, you got hockey guys, you got golf guys, you got tennis dudes, you got blah, 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 blah. Yeah, don't forget squash. Say nothing. Yeah, can't leave out squash or cricket. But <laughs> the problem is, and we joke about that, but if I'm talking about a King Carter video and some NBA stuff, I got a FIFA dude hating on me. Mm. If I'm talking about FIFA, I got a Madden dude hating on me. Yeah. So if I try to change it up anytime, no matter what I do, vice I'm, versa. I'm, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. And I'm like, yo, man, this is the sports community. Like, last time I checked, ain't nobody really doing it like Machinima period you know what i'm saying and they were right. the first ones to try to do something for the sports community but a lot of these dudes man yo i'm leaving man i ain't you know i ain't getting enough views blah blah the only in my opinion the only excuses i will i will entertain for people that left the sports channel is one i've heard like there was no community and i and i dig that because as as the host of it i didn't have time to be the community manager if you will yeah and the people that who's whose lap that fell in did a did a they didn't do a good job of doing that you know i feel you on that <laughs> they didn't do a good job of doing that i'm not here to throw anybody on the bus or nothing like that but it's just they didn't do a good job of doing that and, and the people that knew me knew that because they knew how i am yeah. Now you know what I got. A, I got a little bit of advice for all these uh, sports guys that have been feeling down about their videos. Hopefully, if you guys is listening up until now, I'm gonna give you the blueprint of what I've been doing since day one. Oh, preach on! All right. When it come to links, I got Blogger. I got Facebook. I got Twitter. I got Operation Sports. I got Justin TV. I got Tumblr. I'm I'm on every single social website that you can think of. Anything where it says share, when you hit that share button on your video, I got a link to each and single every single one of them. Now what I do, I go on Facebook. I go to machinima.com page. I go to machinima sports page. I go to different people that play sports games, people that are famous. I go to the actual developer of the game. I go to every single one of these youth um, Facebook pages and I share my video. Right. I say, yo, if you wanna if you wanna check out some nice gameplay, check this joint out. I share that joint of like 20 pages. I go on Twitter, I promote the people, I retweet people that like my videos. I go on Blogger, I post a, a daily video every week. Also, I, I um, update my statuses on when my video is going to come out. Um, whenever I upload a video to Machinima Sports, I put out the promo, I back it. I tell them come holla at me in the comment section because I'm going to be over there. And, and that's that. You got to promote yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't, you can't tell a person that's uploading seven videos a day to make sure that your video get the most promotion yeah. you can't do that because they're putting out seven videos all you can say is hey put my bomb thumbnail up and i'll do the rest that's all that's all you can do that that's what it's all about man i mean you know you take it on a larger scale you got dudes like jj abrams who just you know sneeze out good ideas these mm -hmm. guys go and make shows and they put them on the network but th th what happens press junkets Everybody walking around, shaking hands, kissing babies, asking questions. They sit, <laughs> they sit there in one room all day long and let clowns like me come in and get, spend five minutes with me answering the same questions all damn day, but they promoting their stuff. Exactly. Yeah, you know I mean, just because you're a dope game player, just because you got an HD capture card, <laughs> just because you got a good mic, I'm not feeling that. That, that don't make you good. Exactly. What makes Any you any accessory or item doesn't make you a good commentator. It's right. what you can bring to the table. Right. What makes you good is is, is putting that down and then pushing that. Yeah.
catchy wordplay. Yeah. Create your own style. Nice, you know what I'm saying? Nice uh, one-liners. Good. I mean, great one-liners. It's a lot of people in the game that have been creating their one-liners lately. And I'm digging it, man. A lot of people have been coming up in the game and saying, yo, you know what? Since I play this sport, what do I say when I'm out on that court? Right. You know, get, let me get my one-liners together. And, and it's nice, man. Like, to tell you the truth, I'm seeing the 2K community grow. And these people stick together, man. Yeah. Like, seriously. So, I just want Madden, FIFA, paintball, if you will, uh, uh, soccer, skateboarding, uh, derby, racing. You know, all of these guys, they just need to come together. Now, I know it's a private Facebook page. You know, for most of the members that's in sports, but I never see anybody bouncing ideas off each other, man. They just ask one little question about live streaming here and there, mm -hmm. and that's it. I'm like, come on, guys. Like, you can't say, hey, anybody check out my latest video, what you guys think? Or do anybody want to do a dual comment? Let's send it mm -hmm. to sports. Nobody wants to do that, though. You know, they, they just want to say, hey, um, anybody know how the specs and, and that's it. Like nobody has a real question, man, and it, and it, and it and it kills me because I thought that this Facebook page was gonna be like that. People bouncing ideas. Hey, all you man and guys, when y'all get your day, come out together. Everybody come up with a nice little plan. Like I would love to go to some 2K commentators and say, hey yo, what you guys think about the semifinals? Everybody come out the same day with the same video. LeBron and them versus the Pacers, and somebody come out with the Thunder versus the Lakers or something like that. That would have happened. That would have been awesome. Dude, you feel was, me? Like, and yeah. if anybody sees the gameplay, this right here is a finals dream right here. This is this is a, a, a prediction video that people could just watch and say, "Hey, yo, I would love to see the Thunder play the Heat in the finals." Yeah, but that, but nobody's thinking about that though, right? Yeah, I don't know because that was my prediction for the finals. I'm like, I think I want to see them two teams in the finals. <laughs> but you, Definitely, that's the mentality that has to 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 take place in anything you want to work. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It, it's it, and Machinima, God bless them. They they built a vehicle for that, and so it's just up to us to try to make that happen. And I fight every day to 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 do that, man. Because again, like a few years from now, year or two from now, like this stuff might not be here. Yeah. The whole game, YouTube can change the whole game with a push of a button, and all of a sudden, you know, your cheese ain't right. You know. <laughs> You, you, what you was making money on right now, you back to you back to you know doing it doing for the it, love. Yeah, doing it for the <laughs> love, or, or you flipping fries and burgers someplace with a, with a pout pout on your face. You know what I mean? Like people need to take advantage of the situation and grow something that can't be moved. Do you realize? Like in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, but like if this sports channel in the community was to was to grow itself the way it could be doing, you know what kind of like like opportunities that can present for people like you know you got guys like nike under armor all this other stuff like they'll want to do stuff with us I, I don't need to do all that stuff i'm trying to set it up to where i can have members of the community come with me to an event or go cover the event for me yeah and that's I, what that's what you, i'm trying to do you guys, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to be on. you guys are entertainers you create talent you're producers so if you're working hard and making the channel grow you've shown me and everybody around nothing but responsibility let me i, I want to reward that but i ain't got no rewards when ain't nobody pumping their stuff and they trying to just you know it's all about my channel this channel or whatever i get it man you got to blow yourself up but you know it's like the hip-hop game man dudes had a label and they was always shouting out they label because they yeah. knew if they label was strong they were selling more records Exactly. Like that's that's what we doing with Game Face Studios right now, man. Like we just telling people, yo, we doing this for the love straight up. You know, like whatever comes out on Game Face Studios is all love, man. Everybody like we, we even got a chat on Skype. We all kick it every single day. We make up schedules for people when they want to come out, yo, you want Monday, yeah, I want Monday, I got Wednesday then. Like it's all love. Nobody complains about they 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 views because they know that they promoting they self. They right. getting back in the comment section, we hitting it them up on Twitter, I'm retweeting, they retweeting, it's it's all love, man. It's it's promotion and, and family at the end of the day. So people people definitely have grown from the community channel and they realize, you know what, this is something that I can do. Yeah, definitely. You know, so that's why that's why I, I, I just I love the community, man. When it comes to the YouTube community, everybody that I done came across ain't never rubbed me the wrong way. Everybody been cool with me. I've been cool with them and it's and it's all love. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, it's not too many people that you would meet 
in this YouTube game outside of YouTube. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah. so you, you got to do what you got to do. You got to delegate. You got to know the politics and you got to be cool with everybody. You know what I'm saying? It, why would you hate somebody else for what they come out with a video for? They mm -hmm. may not have even seen your video and you think they coming at your head. They not. Yeah. You know, they, they had that idea in their head for weeks on them, but they, they needed to know, oh, how do I put this together? And then when it came out, obviously you seen it. So now you want to hate. You can't hate, man. It's, it should be all love, man. It should, it's, I mean, an opportunity like this, man, it should be all love. Unless like, somebody blatantly bite your stuff, it should be, it should be all love, man. Yeah, man. Like, it's, it's cool. Like, <laughs> I, I should, I, I would be happy. I'm throwing a thumbs up. Yo, thanks for showing me out, man. Everybody, everybody coming in the comment section maybe trying to kill them. But guess what I'm doing? I'm coming back at them like, nah, nah, chill. Yeah. He's showing love. Like, yeah. So, you know, it, it is what it is. No, but also, man, I need to I need to hop on an event with you, man. Next time you fly out, I'm flying out. Forget that. <laughs> That's what's up, man. <laughs> Real talk, can, man. If I can set it up, man, I'll definitely do it. Yesterday, I was playing uh, Modern Warfare, the new maps with uh, Brandon Jennings and, and Gordon Hayward. Whoo! Yeah. So you know they were here in L.A. or whatever. So you know stuff like that, man. I tell you, you a 2K fan, man. 2K Sports, they, it's it's. I got a love hate relationship with them, man. Uh, <laughs> like you know, they show me, they when they show me love, they show me love. But sometimes they just don't keep me in the loop on stuff. Mm -hmm. But man, the last set that they had, bro, I was it was like performances by Jada Kiss, Busta Rhymes, and some new cat. They let me design my own pair of Kobe's. Ooh, and they, man! And they shipped them to me. It was all free, like. Oh, you know? showing mad love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they make a they make a solid product and stuff. But you know, before we go, man, I, I I'm curious to know from your opinion, like, what do you think can be done to say take um, NBA 2K or whatever basketball game people are playing? That's really the only one out, so I say it um, to the level. Uh, that FIFA has like the, there's a strong FIFA community and I and I recognize that and appreciate that yeah but, FIFA is international man. exactly and, and, and basketball is like one of the only other games that is international exactly exactly yeah. so I'm just wondering what you know if, if you could press the magic button what do you think Machinima could do or what could be done in general to maybe increase the awareness and the uh and just the uh, status of like games like nba 2k all right um for all you xbox players out there um i'm sorry it's gonna have to be two discs because i know you ain't got that blu-ray but uh <laughs> <laughs> um the first thing is man they gotta fix some of the animations and you know like bump animations and stuff like that all the minor gameplay things and they got to fix their internet. They got to make it, you know, a whole lot better and things like that. Now, for the international tip to get more fans and on that fan base, I think that they should put in different leagues around the world. Mm -hmm. Because if you did that, do you know what type of product you would have on your hands? It will be viral. It yeah. would be totally viral because this is what you could do. I know that, you know, Blu-ray discs can hold uh, a ton of information. So, but if you even had to make two discs for the game in order to play something else, get as many people as you can do to sign a contract in the U.S. that ever played in the NBA to get on the game. Mm -hmm. put, make up all the teams from every single year. Make it like the greatest edition ever. Uh, have other leagues like over in Italy, Turkey, China, mm -hmm. have all of those leagues set up and even throw in for the ladies, WNBA. I got I feel you man. That now that right there, that would probably be the best sports international game ever made. Ever made. To yeah. have every single and even street ball like that. You can have AO and one hot sauce and a couple of other guys in the game. That would be awesome, man. I would, I would love that. That would be crazy. I know it would be a big deal, and, you know, they would have to do a lot behind that. But if they could, man, it would be crazy. Even have, like, the USA Games, you know, the Olympic Games put yeah. into it. That would be crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree, man. And at the lowest level, at least um, put, you know, put more international. What is it, FIBA in there? Mm -hmm. put, put FIBA teams in there at least because, man, you know, they're in FIFA. You know, it's, so it's definitely possible, and it's possible probably to get it on one disc. Yeah. But I, I, I agree. I think that that would uh, change the landscape of basketball because it is the other international sport. Yeah, like because I, I see all these games come out with like season passes for downloadable content and stuff like that. Yeah, 2K could do it. 
I know yeah. they could. I, it's not that hard. You know, downloadable content like uh, take for UFC for instance. They have downloaded players, yep. different moves, entrances, and stuff like that. You can do that for 2K. I know you can. All you got to do is make a nice season pass. People pay early to get the game, get all of that nice stuff, set up their 2K accounts, and go ham. So you got kids. You know, even though games come out overseas, you know, uh, what is it? A few days later or to mm -hmm. a week. Even if they come out the, that late, man, they would see videos like mine and say, hey, for all you guys over in Europe, check this out. You know, I'm, I'm laying it out to them, letting them know, like, this game right here is the most complete basketball game you'll probably ever play. And that would be that would be hot, man. I, w I would love to see that. <laughs> you know what? I'm probably going to tweet that <laughs> to Ronnie and uh, LD, like, as soon as we get done. <laughs> I, I, you know what I did do? I tweeted them that, uh, you know, they have that hashtag ideas for NBA 2K13. Yeah. And, and I told them that I wanted the uh, uh, the EBC, you Ooh, know, and, and the Entertainment League. Because yeah. there's like, out here, like, celebrity, Jamie Foxx, you know, dudes like that. They have a league, uniforms, a whole nine, and they play a season. And, like, imagine, you know, they, they have it where you can unlock dudes on the blacktop. Mm -hmm. But, you know. It's all that. It's just all that. But, um, man, you know, we could go on forever. And, in fact, I'd, I'd, <laughs> like, to, uh, I'd like to already say that I want to have another chat with the topic being uh, uh, starting off with uh, should sports games be made every year or should there be – downloadable content and they're put out periodically don't even answer yet i know you got some i know you got some stuff on that dude i know you do so it was hot so i say man that's our next chat man i appreciate right. you getting up with me this time no problem yo i'm, I'm not even gonna cut this up man they're gonna have to listen to this 30 minutes <laughs> real talk man i'm gonna just cut the gameplay up a little bit different they gonna hear all of it man real talk yeah, man. But, uh, say, th say, thanks for having me, though, man. Real talk. Just thanks for having me. I'm saying, you know, we're going to bust it up all the time. I'm always around, you know. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Well, you know, we, we're definitely going to do it. I'm going to try to do these a little more on a regular. Or maybe we just have some kind of open forum or something. I'm going to see if we can do like a conference Skype chat. And maybe we get the rest, you know, some other guys from your crew in and we just kind of cover some topics every so often, you know what I mean? For sure. That's what's up, man. So I uh, appreciate it, man. And guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you continue to check out my man, iPod King Carter video, and, and show us some love here on the Sports Channel. We out. All right, y'all. Peace.